What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10 What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team Coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today, we got some... Something different, yo. It's actually not market talk. It's actually content predictions. And now, honestly, I can see a couple things happening. We're going to go over it all. And before we get into the video, please drop a sub, like the video, sub if you are new. Like, please. Like, literally, bro, we're getting closer and closer to 6K. We're about to gain another 100 subs today. So, yo, thank you guys for that. We're on a roll. This is the third video for today. So, as you can see, man, the consistency in my channel is clearly here. It's definitely worth a sub. But anyways, um... Let's hit 100 likes in this video, give away some MT to some subscribers. But, yo, right now, um, honestly, 2K hasn't dropped the trailer, so that's kind of interesting. I am aching this before any trailer drops, so this is all prediction. If they do drop a trailer after this video, that is all my fault. So now, first thing I want to talk about is I'm going to talk about the market a tiny bit because it kind of does have, have to involve with the new content. First off, bro, Obel KD seems to keep his value. Curry continues to drop, and honestly... I, I expected it, man. Curry has no set rewards, so that tanks his value. Secondly, bro, they're dropping ovals like crazy, so I don't know. And also, there's so many other point guards that are comparable. Like, literally, I mean, I would say comparable, but, like, this Chauncey Billups, bro, is somewhat comparable for the, like, I mean, you're talking about 350k versus, like, 5k. So, I mean, if you really want to spend 300k on this Curry, I'm going to do it because I love him, but I don't know. If you're really... Bank, spending all your MT on Curry, I really wouldn't. Chauncey Billups is a really, really good player. Every time I verse him, he seems to clamp up my LeBron. I'm not even kidding. He's actually a very good card. But yeah, enough of, enough of that. I'm talking about... First of all, we haven't seen a spotlight in a couple weeks. Honestly, I really do believe they are going to drop a spotlight very soon. Like, they have to drop a spotlight very soon. Like, straight up, they haven't dropped one in a little bit. And if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more... Visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Alrighty, my bad for that. My dog was just barking, but yo, anyways, right now, um, as you can see, there is a day 16 hours left, which means this is scheduled to go away on Friday. So if this does go away on Friday... And, or maybe Friday or Saturday, these are gone. So, well, if today's Wednesday, 16 hours, 24, yeah, these are scheduled to go away on Friday. I don't know exactly what time, but if these are gone Friday, I'm expecting content Friday. But then again, last year around the same time, we did get a token market update. So that also gets me thinking. They haven't had a token market update in literally, what, two months? And these cards are outdated but honestly, 2K is also money hungry. So what is going to go down? I'm not totally sure. But some things I really need to see is a token market update. I have 1,500 tokens. I need to buy new pink diamonds and get my opal. Um, personally, if they don't drop more than I would say three or four pink diamonds, I personally will not be investing into the Galaxy Opal stage yet. It's really not worth it. If they drop one opal that really isn't usable and only like two pink diamonds, I'm not entering the stage. There's no need to rush for opals in my opinion. It's always a good time to save for tokens. And also, I feel like they're not going to drop something crazy. I don't know why. Lately, they've been making a ton of money off the Opals. So why would they drop something crazy in tokens? I don't know. They really don't like to do that, as you guys can see. These token market players are literally from day one. They're garbage. This card right here would get diced by an Amethyst Lance Stevenson. And I mean diced. Amethyst Lance Stevenson is 100 times better than this card. You can disagree. I don't care. Lance Stevenson's goaded compared to this card. Lance Stevenson's 2K. This is 150 tokens, which is the equivalent to like 150K. That's also, that's if you do an actual set, like a legacy set. But yo, if you really think about it, totally not worth any of this. And honestly, I really don't think, I don't think they would drop a crazy token market update. I don't know. They could, but with the way they've been making money and the way they've been dropping packs, I really don't think it should be anything crazy. Also, since these packs are gone, they did drop a promo. This buzzer beater promo made them a lot of money. Now, we haven't had a spotlight, like I said, in how long? About, what, a month now? We got a prime last week. 
Now we're kind of caught up on Prime. Like I said, there is no spotlights, but will they drop another Prime? Now, if they do drop another Prime, there's no way it's going to be a Pink Diamond. So they went from 97, 98 to Galaxy Opal. They got to drop another Galaxy Opal. What is it going to be? I see nothing in common. Only thing I see in common is, I don't know. They, I don't know, man. Chris stops. I feel like a Paul Pierce would drop, but they already dropped the Paul Pierce. They have Dr. J. I really can't think of any other players. If you guys could think of any other prime players, that would be cool. Honestly, I would not mind like an Opal Rashad Lewis, but then again, we have a Pink Diamond one. Joel Embiid did just get a moments card. I mean, didn't get a moments card for that performance. Makes me think, is he going to be a prime reward? Like, literally, I think that Joel Embiid could possibly be the next prime reward. I don't know. It seems fishy. Also, I think another another player that should get a moments card is Zach Levine. He's been dropping 40 a game like crazy. Like, he dropped 40 so many times this season. And we only have that set Pink Diamond one. Speaking of that, man, the set is still kind of expensive. So if you do have these cards, I would recommend selling. Um, 96 Pink Diamond Levine is sort of outdated, even though he is that good still. Like, he's so good offensively. I literally still get diced by him. But, yo, right now... If you really want to do the set, you could. Personally, I think they're going to drop a 98 or a Galaxy Oval Zach Levine soon. He's been playing insane, cursing at his coach, playing amazing. Beal got a card. Why wouldn't Levine get a card? Personally, I think they have something in plan. If they if MB didn't get a card, Levine didn't get a card. Something's interesting. They have something in plan. Maybe they'll drop it moments next week for them. We shall see. Also, um, since they are trying to catch him on Prime, as you guys know, they did drop Prime, I think, two weeks in a row or... They haven't dropped the spotlight, like I said. If they drop a spotlight, there's really no themes going on. March Madness is coming around the corner, which is going to create a huge market crash when they do drop that promo. That promo always gets 2K crazy, but I don't know. They already dropped the Curry. And also, one thing I want to talk about, dynamic duos. This came across my head, bro. If you remember last year, I don't know when they brought them back, but Dynamic Duos rose the prices of certain cards. Now, I have a ton of cards in my collection, and also, they have released a Klay Thompson, a Curry, and a Kevin Durant. Is there going to be trios, bro? Like, is that possible? I don't know, but it gets me thinking. They dropped KD, Klay, Curry in the same week. They dropped it in seven days, three cards on the same team. They're all Warriors players. Can they drop Dynamic Duos soon? They dropped the 98 Clay and Curry. That would make Clay a, a Galaxy Opal and Curry even more unstoppable. Dynamic Duo has got to be coming soon. I literally don't know how anybody has been talking about. Nobody in the 2K community has talked about Dynamic Duos. I think I should bring it up here. Dynamic Duos are way coming. They have to come. If they don't come and they just continue to drop packs, I don't know what they're doing. Straight up. They can make so much more money if they do drop dynamic duo so i think they will end up dropping it hopefully so now token market update if it does happen i'm thinking friday they usually drop them on fridays since these packs are going on friday it also makes me think we might not get a token market update but then again we could get one thursday so i don't know what's going to happen personally this is what i think is going to drop i think a token market update tomorrow or friday definitely i think we're due for one I think the community has said it enough. We need one really bad. That is what I think. So token market update, I think, is 100% this week. They are trying to catch them on the primes. One, they got to drop a prime or a spotlight. Since they did just drop the curry, I don't think they would drop more prime packs. Considering the fact that, are these gone yet? Are the prime packs gone? They are not gone. These are gone in a day 16. So these are gone Friday as well. Here are my predictions. Thursday, talk market update, Friday, spotlights. Sounds crazy. But then again, it gets me thinking. If these both expire on Friday, wouldn't they want to drop another banger? But spotlight is kind of a banger for them. A lot of people do pop the packs to get the solos done. So like I said, talk market, talk market update, spotlight challenge. They did that last month or two months ago. Whenever they had the talk market update, they dropped spotlight challenges. I could see that happening. With that being said... I'm thinking next week is going to be a little bit drier on the content. That's what I'm thinking. Also, I think in the Spotlight Challenge sets, they're going to have an one Oval and 198 Pink Diamond. That's also my guess. 
They've been dropping opals in almost every single thing they drop. What makes you think they're not going to drop another opal? That's what I think. I don't know, though. Anything can be possible. I want to hear your predictions down below. Literally, drop comments. Let me know what's going on. I want to hear. And yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop the sub. Like the video is sub if you are new. I don't know why I always say sub or like twice, but that's what happens, I guess. Um, hopefully, Toga Market update. Hopefully, spotlights. Because I kind of want to grind. But then again, we will see. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.